Hey everybody on YouTube, Carl Alexander here, and in today's video, we're taking a look at what happens when you pair an old CPU with a new GPU. Let's get started. Now the reason I'm doing this is partly just for fun, but also as a demonstration of CPU bottlenecks and its effect on GPU value. If you're like me and money is something you have to consider when buying new parts, then value is extremely important. Sure, if you have tons of cash, then go get an i7 and a 1080 and stop watching this video. But for everyone else, picking the right parts should be an important decision. So to test this idea of CPU bottlenecks on a new GPU, I went to a bit of an extreme. I'm testing my 1070 on an old AMD Phenom 2 X4 955 Black Edition. This 3.2 GHz 4 core CPU from 2009 was a great option when I bought it. But as time has rolled on, this CPU has aged, and just because it has 4 cores means very little to its overall performance in modern games. Now it seems logical to upgrade your GPU to the best you can afford, as the GPU is kind of the heart of your gaming rig, but your CPU does matter and can greatly affect performance. But almost more important, it can affect the value of your new GPU. To show this, I tested three modern titles, The Witcher 3, Hitman, and City Skylines. I also threw in an old game, Tomb Raider. I tested the Phenom 2 with both my old GTX 960 and new 1070. As you will see from these graphs, the results are almost identical. The percentage increase the 1070 has over the 960 is within a few percent on all but one benchmark. Now the reason for this, of course, is the CPU bottleneck. At 1080p, both of these cards are held back by the CPU. So the $400 1070 is performing almost identically to the under $200 960. The only game that shows the extra performance of the 1070 is Tomb Raider, but honestly unless you have a 144Hz monitor, you won't really see a difference. What this is demonstrating is that as far as dollars per frame is concerned, which is just a simple value metric, the 1070 is close to twice as expensive per frame than the 960 on this particular CPU. Effectively the 1070's value has been halved and you just paid over double the cost for the same performance as a more value-oriented card like the 960. We can also look at my current FX6350 paired with the 1070. At the same settings compared to the Phenom, performance is up to 66% better on the 6350, which is itself a 4-year-old CPU. Again, the only outlier here is Tomb Raider, and it's not seeing CPU gains because it doesn't take advantage of newer CPUs. So this really shows that your choice of GPU should be tied to your current or planned CPU. Using a 1070 on an i3 for example isn't the best use of your money unless you plan on a quick upgrade. It's important to remember that higher end GPUs depreciate in value quickly because of how fast they change. For example the Maxwell Titan X was $1000 in March 2015, and by July 2016 was being outperformed by a card less than half the price. That's an extreme case, but the reason sweet spot cards like the 970 are good values is because they give good performance at a reasonable price and won't depreciate in a matter of months. So look, sure, buying a 1070 on your 5 year old CPU will give you better performance if your GPU is also 5 years old, but is it worth it? No. If you don't plan on upgrading your CPU for a few years, then a high end GPU like a 1070 is probably not the best option. However, if you plan on upgrading your CPU soon, a high-end card is a fine choice if you're willing to accept the temporary bottlenecks, but just remember that while you're waiting for that CPU upgrade, your fancy new video card is depreciating in value. In the end, it's all about figuring out what you need. Finding the right CPU or GPU isn't too difficult. You just need to figure out what you want out of your machine. Do you want 1080p or 4K? 60Hz or 144Hz? Do you want VR? Look at the variables and soon you'll have an idea of what parts to invest in. I bought the GTX 1070 for VR and it hasn't disappointed, and when I get a new CPU I'll be set for 1440p. It's all about finding the right upgrade path for your current parts and avoid overpaying just for that little bit of extra performance. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at pairing a new GPU with an old CPU. I understand this particular setup is a bit ridiculous, but it was intended as just a fun experiment. I hope this provided a good insight into GPU value, and if you have any questions about how I did the tests, or whatever else, leave me a comment. Okay everybody, that was my video for this week, I hoped you liked it, if you did, give me a thumbs up, if you didn't, I think you know what to do, leave me a comment in the comment section, and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one in the future. Also, uh, new to the channel, I finally got a Twitter page, so uh, I should have the tag up here somewhere, so follow me and to write me or whatever you do on Twitter. Um, that's new. I really don't know what I'm doing on there, so help me out with that. 
And uh, next week I should have some more content. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be. Uh, it might be a video on Stardew Valley. Might not. Not really sure. Uh, but I hope you stick around for that, and I'll see you then.